When the U.S. joins the Vietnam War, the Army needs a safe way to transport troops through hostile territory. The answer is a vehicle based on decades of tank development, using armor and turret design from previous machines. The difference is, this vehicle isn't designed for attack. We would refer to it as a battlefield taxi. It's designed to get you uh, from somewhere behind the lines up to close to the battlefront uh, with a degree of protection. At number four in our top 10 is the M113. Date introduced, 1960. Max speed, 37 miles per hour. Load, 11 soldiers, one driver, and one tank commander. Cruising range, 199 miles. The M113 is designed to protect U.S. infantry from small arms fire while taking them into the heart of battle. So they designed the M113 to put the soldiers in the back, about 11 soldiers could be carried, commander of the vehicle and a driver in the front, and they take them forward under protection to where the fighting is. Then the soldiers debus finish the attack in f on foot. This innovative personnel carrier uses light aluminum armor and can reach speeds of 37 miles per hour across rough terrain. But it isn't long before the M113 also takes on an offensive role. The interesting thing with the M113, when it went into service, they actually used it as an attack vehicle. They put machine guns on the top of it, and it became an infantry fighting vehicle rather than just an infantry personnel carrier. After Vietnam, the M113 is used by over 60 countries and adapted for different roles. The M113 is one of those vehicles It's going to be seen uh, around the world in so many armies for decades to come. With over 80,000 produced, the M113 comes into our top 10 at number four.